And that's the live button, everyone. Everyone's favorite button for me to press. Woo hoo. Um, as ever, we're going to stuff about for a couple of minutes while more people roll in, obviously. So if you're watching the VOD of this, skip ahead five minutes. And if you're watching this live, it, well, <laughs> cop that. <laughs> um, no, hello everyone. Microphone quiet, you say? Why would that be? It doesn't look like a microphone quiet. Um, no, you can't skip ahead, actually. This is very important stuff. Um, you're going to miss me closing the door because I noticed it being quite boomy. Okay. Ugh. A horse while streaming? No. I'm never this articulate as a horse, although some would say I'm never quite articulate at all. Where's Bear Cow? I don't know where Bear is at the moment. He's probably attending to cat business elsewhere. Music loud? You can turn the game down, I guess. Maybe I'll put it to minus 10. That's half the volume. Actually, I'll turn it down in... No, I'll turn my headphones down. How much training have I done? Um, barely any. See, the problem is... Um, playing a game when, like, that's all you're doing is very different to playing it while streaming it. And you have to understand that. Is that, um, at least for me, it, it, it might be different for other people, but there's a lot going through one's head when one is streaming. There, there, there are many things on my screens here. So it's not like I can dedicate 100% of my brain to thinking about what the best thing to do is. Um, and you just kind of have to accept that. It's like sometimes you do stupid things that you wouldn't do if you weren't streaming. Oh well, whatever. Um, look, while, while I'm not busy playing a game, thank you Topher has opinions for the 10 uh, freedom bucks. I choose to believe that Old Shift X doesn't know what Avatar is and has just accepted it as part of Clytus' personality <laughs> that he randomly shouts secret tunnel inexplicably. Um, I don't know if I've ever done that around Alt Shift X, but um, that might be accurate of Alt Shift X. Has he elucidated any further opinions on Avatar? I don't, I don't know if he has. You might be onto something there, Tova. Anyone want to play Pokemon Showdown? Yeah, I'm a little busy right now, though. Um, how far in are we? Three minutes? Let more people roll in. More people. Come on, come on, everyone. Although I can't expect it to get to the same numbers as yesterday. You know, not everyone wants to tune in again. Oh, no. Oh, no, I've accrued another bastard. Um, thank you for the two euro from Glimbus Pike. I always thought it was strange that the um, bastard name for the Iron Islands was Pike, but I guess it kind of works with how, um, you know, maybe that tradition wasn't a part of Iron Islander culture until they were brought into the fold of the Seven Kingdoms, like under the Targaryens. Does that make any sense? I think salt would be, oh, but, but not all bastards are born on salt wives. Glidus does have a Discord. Um, there's a link to it in the description, I think, isn't there? Yeah, there is. There's a link to the CKA got server and my server. Um, that has been oh, almost five minutes, not quite. Everyone keep talking amongst yourselves for a little bit. Um, John Brewer, thank you for the dollars. Glad to see, hear your voice. 
when I said the Game Grumps comparison, I oh right, yes, from the, um the last stream we did with Swifty, you just meant how entertaining Swift and I are. Oh, that's lovely of you to say. Thank you. Any smilers in chat? We got any smilers tonight? Anyone smiling? Y'all better be smiling. <laughs> now, we're, we're getting ready to begin. However, I've just checked one last time and I've noticed that... Um, although we have over 500 viewers, there's only 128 likes on the stream. I'm not sure what that's all about, and I can't, I can't start until we rectify that. Much bigger traction on YouTube than Twitch. I mean, for me personally, because I have 110 and almost 10,000 subscribers here, and I have 3,000 followers on Twitch. Thank you all, by the way. My follower count on Twitch went up by like 800 yesterday. <laughs> I should probably uh, stream there at some point in the near future. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe I'll do a um, less anticipated CK3 stream on Twitch tomorrow. I don't know though. We'll see. Okay, that, that like number, it looks a bit better. I'm happy with that. Let's get rolling. Today we're going to be playing as Lord Tywin Lannister. King of the Westerlands. <laughs> they can't really change that, I guess. Um, shall we read the description? Tywin of House Lannister, Lord of Casterly Rock and Warden of the West, brought his house to new heights following the ineffectual reign of his father, Tytos. When House Rain and House Tarbeck chose to defy their liege lord, Tywin made an example of them by destroying their seats of Castamere and Tarbeck Hall. While serving his hand of the king to his friend Aerys II, it was joked that Lord Tywin truly ruled the Seven Kingdoms. Known to be calculating and ruthless, Tywin's heart hardened when his cousin wife Joanna died while giving birth to the dwarf Tyrion, considered to be a hideous monster. When Aerys named Tywin's eldest son Jaime to his Kingsguard, removing him from the Lannister line of succession, Tywin resigned his hand and returned to Casterly Rock. Despite the King's call to arms, Lord Tywin has remained out of the war, for a lion does not forget insults. So, there's gonna be a lot less fucking about with armies in this one, um, because well, we're not even part of the war at this point. And basically, we get to choose who wins, kind of. Um, I mean, it's not entirely up to us, but um, Tywin, as we saw in yesterday's playthrough, um, really can swing things one way or the other. The Lion and the Dragon. In my chambers, surrounded by ma maps and letters, I ponder the chaos engulfing the Seven Kingdoms. The rebellion against the Mad King Ares is gaining strength, and I must decide soon. Ares and I were once friends, but our relationship has soured over the years for various reasons, the last being naming my son and heir Jamie to the Kingsguard. Ares' madness has only worsened, and his rule has become more tyrannical by the day. In contrast, Robert Baratheon has proven to be a capable warrior as the rebel's leader, with a great question about his ability to rule. The idea of betraying Ares is risky yet tempting, but waiting, at least now, may be the best option as the sides may turn one way or another. The fate of the Seven Kingdoms hangs in the balance. So, as a player I may choose to side with the Iron Throne or side with the Rebels directly. In the case the Iron Throne's war score falls below 50, that's interesting. So it says, I guess that means that I can just join the war. Um, how would I do that? I think I'll get an event for it. And it also means I can't immediately join Robert's side either. Oh wait, no, actually if I go to the ward here, um, there's a join button for either sides, so I can actually join if I want to straight away. <clears throat> Pardon me. Oh, I love that I have a button that mutes the microphone so you don't have to hear me cough. Um, let's do some setup. 
I think it makes sense to again choose the father for the plus diplomacy. Intrigue's not really gonna matter that much for Tywin, I guess. Wait, that's not us. That's us. Man, our stats are just ridiculous. Um, lifestyle, stewardship, duty, I think makes the most sense. Although domain gives us plus three, which is just more, more money. Hang on, I'm a bit hot. There we go. What do you mean cough reveal? I cough in like every other video. <laughs> um, we could just get the plus 10 to the income, but again, I don't think it's that pressing. I just like having that these numbers go up. Um, let's go with duty. Tywin would think that he's all about duty, wouldn't he? So what can we declare on him? Oh, we've got a bunch of claim wars we can declare, but these are all for like nothings. Yeah, these teeny tiny places in the reach. Don't worry about those. Um, declare independence. That could be fun. Could be fun to do that at some point in the future. Maybe not today, though. Oh, hang on. Let's turn debug mode off. I always launch it in case something goes wrong, but we'll be turning that off. I don't want to cheat today. Though that also could be fun. <laughs> um... Negotiate an alliance with Damon Marbrand? Why? Oh, because he's my cousin. Is that it? I don't really see why not, but I don't really care either way, actually. Um, let's have a look at the council. My goodness. Tend. Oh my god. So you're a better marshal. And you're a better diplomat. Can I swap with you? Yeah, swap them, please. Okay, cool. You're a powerful vassal. 18. Oh, I'm pleasing all of them. That's good. Oh my god, what is this? Oh, jeez. Ugh. Leo Lefford is my spy master with two intrigue. That is uh, mega bad. We've got 19 there, but he doesn't like me very much. Could make Cersei the spy master. That's kind of funny. That's kind of funny. Um, do I have any? Oh God, what have I done? Did I put the wrong person in? Oh, this guy's not a powerful vassal. Okay. But he's the Castellan. Let's make Kevin. Kevin would actually be a great hand. Oh, uh, Castellan. Let's put this guy in here. And make Kevin the Castellan. Can I make Kevin the Castellan? Yeah. Cool. And as for Leo Lefford. Uh, he likes me the most out of these guys anyway, so... I'm kind of comfortable with firing him. None of this is all that important anyway. Yeah, let's put Cersei in. It's funny. Cersei is 16 years old. When can I send... Yeah. 500 gold. I'll hold off on doing that for now, but I do want to do that. Send Jerry in off to find Bright, Ra Bright Rule. That's going to be great. Um, should we just let the good times roll? I'm not going to do any of these things for now. Okay, gang. I'm going to hold a poll, actually, right now. Um. Who are we going to side with? So our options will be Ares, Robert, do nothing, um, which is really silly. Um, actually, that's going to be it. Those are your options. I was going to put um, independence, but we'll do that some other time. It looks like Robert's winning. It's close, though.
wow. It's it's just it's dead tied. That's crazy. I don't know if you can see polls on um, on VOD playback. So maybe I'll find a way to um, put them up on screen as well. Actually, I, I could just do that. Hang on. There we go. There's the poll. Robert is just edging out. We've got 468 votes. There are only 861 people watching. <clears throat> Over half the people voting is kind of crazy. Okay. It looks like Robert is taking a lead here. Yeah, crazy voter turnout. Okay, yeah, that's a, that's a decided Robert victory there. With a plurality, almost a majority, 41%. Look, I'm going to end it there because it's, I don't think we're going to get, it, it, it's probably not going to turn at this point. Yeah, no. Nah. True, Taiwan wouldn't care about the people's vote, and I should just do whatever I want. Um, but you know, I wanted to make this a little bit interactive. Maesters rigged the election. Conspiracy moment. Alright, let's do this. So we're going to side with Robert when the time comes. But, um, that does pop up via a scripted event. So, for now, we're just going to hang out. Um, I'm assess the military situation. And, because I've got a lot of money, I'm going to invest in some more trebuchets so that people in the comments aren't going to yell at me about that again. Oh, I'm missing a knight. 40 gold? Get stuffed. You're a knight. Congratulations. Um, anything else I need to do? What do we have... Bloody Bailsters. Uh, pretty good. Armoured Horseman. Not. Do I want any more... Mans at Arms? Ma man at Arm. That's what you call them when there's just one of them. We'll leave it there for now. This is Hollow Knight 3. True. Correct. Any issues with the stream so far? I mean, not the content. The content's garbage, obviously. I mean, the um, frame rate and stuff. Can you play as a horse? Can you come up with a better joke? Sorry, that was rude. <laughs> um, obviously, we need to put up our banners. Game can't get rolling until we've put our banners up. And what's this? A feline hunter. Oh god, I don't care. I think I found the reason why some days are more rat-free than others. My vassal Lord Tybalt Heatherspoon happily declares as he moves aside to reveal a servant holding a very displeased cat. It wriggles in an attempt to free itself from the scratched-up arms of the servant, meowling in a rather endearing fashion. I'd say this is one successful rat hunter. In fact, it was in the middle of a wrestling match with a fat one when we found it. What say you? Should we adopt this cat? Okay, would Tywin adopt the cat? It's role-playing time. I think... No. Yeah, he, he, he'd make it this other guy's problem. I, I want to adopt the cat. But I don't... My goodness. Everyone's so opinionated. I know we'd all like to see Tywin with a little kitty cat companion. It would be adorable. But... I just don't think he would do it. Uh, it is a lion cub. In some sense. What do you get for it? Plus one intrigue, plus one learning. I'm taking the cat. The lion argument won me over. Um, I don't want to hold court. Oh, it'd be such a flex to throw a tournament. 
when the wars just started. Nah. <laughs> we'll wait until the war's over and hold a great tournament. Meddling in marriage. It irks me that my rival, King Ares, seems to enjoy the comforts of a blissful marriage with his wife. Okay, Tywin. Um, I could cause him a good deal of stress by and worry by sowing suspicion between the two, making them doubt one another. Um, this doesn't sound like Tywin. We're not going to do that. Oh, um, we have to name the cat. Hmm. This isn't the most important decision we're going to make today. It's not going to be Sir Pounce. Name it Tyrion? No. <sighs> oh, it's it's a him. I was going to call I was going to call it Joanna if it was a her. Hey Supercuts the Light, thanks for tuning in and for the money. <laughs> Hope you're doing well. A cat doesn't concern himself with the opinions of... What did you say? Chat's moving so fucking fast right now. Glutus. True. That's... That is what cats don't do. Oh my god. <laughs> what? Can you people calm down? <laughs> Lancel. That's a stupid name. Not bear. Hmm. And this is why I don't stream on YouTube all the time. Oh my god. <laughs> How do people do this? Okay. I want to name the cat. Uh. Are there any ancestors that Tywin would absolutely, like, deify? Like, Gerald, I, I guess, would make sense. Um maybe Jason probably not Jason actually who um the last king of the rock Lauren we could do Lauren oh wait hang on those are kings I skipped through a bunch of kings yeah Lo no he would think of Lauren as a bit of a disappointment wouldn't he the cat's name is Lan um Thank you for seeing me, my liege. I came to you today with an urgent request. The Lordship of Hive is faithful or in need of a place of worship. I would be humbled if you fund a new Septon skull break. Simon's not interested in this. Um, what's in it for me? Nah. Go screw yourself. In fact, you know what Tywin's gonna do? Tywin's gonna disallow petitioners. We're at war. I mean, we're not, but the realm is. Oh. Ticket died. Ticket Tyjet. I've never liked the name. Oh, while we're here, I just want to zoom in on Lannisport again because it's such a ridiculously good model. Look at the lion statue there. It's incredible. Look at how how the walls are actually carved into the geometry of the map. It's 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 bloody ridiculous. Tyjet, maybe. And Castle Rock itself is also, it's so much cooler than in the show. What's Fair Isle look like? It looks like a nice little island. Alright. We're just going to let the war play out a little bit. We'll keep an eye on it. Okay, Eris is already posting some elves. Is there any other... Th I know that, like, I'm way over my domain limit, but I also don't really care. Okay. Wandering Hedge Knight. John. Sir John Kingwood has arrived at my court. He has requested permission to rest at my keep for a short while before he resumes his travels. In return, he has offered me his service for the duration of his stay. No. We're in the Westerlands. Find somewhere else. Alright, so being not part of the action... Oh, he's actually... Actually going somewhere with this. I think... What we'll do for this first one... 
Wait, no, you guys said side with Robert. Um. Ah, here we go. I was waiting for this. Um, the time has come to make an important decision. The war King Ares has incited has weakened his and his house's position in Westeros, with the Red Keep and King's Landing being his last major stronghold. With a well-executed feint, I could manage to capture the city and the Red Keep and put an end to the abomination of Seven Hells. The days of his reign must come to an end. And because Chant voted Robert, he will hear me roar. Okay, so I have to raise an army. We'll raise every single man we have, why not? I have to be in charge. Like, I have to personally lead the army. And we have to go to King's Landing. That's how this works. I'm being raided. Quellen... Not really doing much about that. I have to lead all of my men to King's Landing for no reason. Okay, let's go. Wee. Okay, so... Nothing can go wrong. Okay, we've got one day. Here we go. I have now brought my forces from the Westerlands towards the gate. We hail the guards and tell them to tell the king that we have come to save them and that they must open the gate so that we can defend the city. He's actually winning the war because he's lost some major battles, but he has... Oh, no, no. That's Robert. So Robert has lost most of the battles, but he's taken some land. Righto. Anyway, they suspect nothing. Okay. With the city gates opened and the vast streets of King's Landing lying before me and my men, I am one step closer to my goal. However, soldiers need spoils. My men are hungry and the city is ripe for harvest. As I let my dogs loose on the sheep in the streets, I continue my ascent of Aegon's high hill, the Red Keep looming above me. As we reach the gates, we find them barred, the castle's garrison standing their ground, arrows raining, Gregor and Amory, together with well-chosen soldiers, begin climbing the pale red walls. Shouting is heard from the top of the Red Keep steps. Oh, it's happening. Uh, so that's us joining the war on Robert's side. Assign your as commander. That's strange. Jamie Lannister, prowess challenge against Jonathan Darry. Jimbo wins that most of the time, surely. Um, yeah, what happened? Uh, we'll read this one first. The air was thick with blood and death as Gregor and Amory approached me. Both clothed in blood, their eyes filled with lust. Their looks leave no doubt. The deed is done. The royalists stood their ground in the Red Keep, but they did not stand a chance against the Lion of the West. My scouts have already informed me of rebel forces heading towards the capital. A new era is dawning. A lion still has claws. That's... Aegon, little baby Aegon, killed by Greg. Princess Amory, uh, Princess Rhaenys, killed by Amory. Elia, killed by Greg. A curse undone. The twists and turns of fate have not always been to my advantage. The seven who are one knows that I was cursed the day I met King Aerys. Today, however, that curse has been lifted. Fate has smiled upon me and brought that hysterical fop doodle to his grave. Okay, um, that's a bit of a tonal whiplash one right there. I think this is just um, a vanilla CK3 event for when a um, rival dies. Alright, victory. We won the war. With the success of his rebellion, uh, Robert will decide who will rule the Seven Kingdoms. Let's see what happens. Um, so it looks like Viserys was in charge at the time it happened. Um, hang on. Oh, Rael is still as Dragonstone. We'll see how that changes. Yes. Oh my goodness. So it looks like the order of events people were killed in. Ares was killed by Jaime. Then Aegon was killed by Greg. Then Rhaenys was killed by Amory. And then Viserys was imprisoned. Crazy. 
Um, right. Let's see what Robert chooses to do. Stand the men down. And there we go. Okay. Um, he wants me to be the spy master. That's strange. Usually he'd make me his master of coin. Who's his master of coin then? Oh, right. Doran's in prison. Obviously. I mean, I'm gonna accept because being the king's spy master is <laughs> really useful. <laughs> um, let's actually have a look at his council now that I remember I can do that. Um, Harbert Baratheon. Oh, that's the guy he starts with. So maybe he didn't even change that. Um, John Aaron, Master of Laws. Pycelle, Hand of the King. Are you sure? Are you sure, mate? Um, wait, Quellen Greyjoy, Master at Arms. That's funny. Ned is Admiral. Okay. And that's me. Oh, there's so many things there. Great. And I'll get an event soon asking if I want to... Actually, it depends on what happens with this whole thing. Um, attorney at Silverhill. Am I going to fight an attorney? I am but 41 years of age. I don't know if it's tired. If it, I don't know if it's that I'm tired of a uh, horse jokes. I think it's that, um, most of the time I hear it, it's not actually a joke. Or maybe it's the same joke. I don't know. Um, Tywin probably wouldn't go ride in someone else's tourney after the war has just ended. He's probably focused on other stuff. Oh. Um. Hmm. So here's the thing: is that in a game sense, raising Tyrion is obviously what I should do. I should be in charge of that. My stats are incredible, and I want full control. However, Tywin hates Tyrion. Wait, hang on. Let's sort by sum of skills, and then, oh, Gerald sucks. Let's give him to Gerald. <laughs> That'd be funny. Tyrion's a lord because he's the son of a lord. Nah, I'll, I'll do it. Not everything has to be historical. Oh, I've been told that I should switch off historical focuses. I'm not sure where that is. Or if that was a Hearts of Iron 4 joke. Oh, we should probably turn new to the off if we're streaming on YouTube. Um, just in case that happens. Hadn't even thought of that. Okay. Anyone know anything about this historical focus this thing? Do I have to turn it off from like the launch screen? Game rules before I start a new save. Okay. Fair enough. Podrick Lannister? I mean, this is... Um... Yeah, I don't care. Oh, I know. This is Lancel's little brother. Podrick Lannister? I don't care. That's fine. Um, we're gonna, now that we have nothing else to do, Jerrion's gonna go find Bright Bro. I mean, his stats are terrible, and he might die. But, so, whatever. Um, hold a grand tourney, shall we? Actually, I just spent 500 gold on getting Bright Bro back. So let's wait for that a little bit. Um, as I walk outside, I'm greeted by the sight of my vassal, Lord Gilbert, crouching beside my cat, Lan. Tenderly petting his head. This is quite the lovely cat you have, my lord. Cheers. Um, what's happened here? Nothing's happened here yet. Interesting. Um. Pay homage. Yeah, let's pay homage. Give him nothing. He gets nothing from us. Um, no, Bobby has not married Lyanna. See, it says they're betrothed here, which is canon, right? They were betrothed. Oh, oh wow, he's actually gone and done it. 
Word of Jerrion's return has worked its way home to me. That is an unnecessary apostrophe. I rush down to the docks and see... I'm not nitpicking because I I'm like have a problem and like the, the mod still needs, you know... It, it makes sense that there'd still be little errors like that in there. Just, say, just pointing out that that's one. I rush down to the docks and see that the crew is already unloading chests full of gold and other spoils from Valyria. Jerrion approaches me with a large greatsword in hand. He bows and presents it to me. Brightmore, bright roar, my lord. We found the wreck of Tom and sheep deep in the smoking sea. It is past time that the sword returns to House Lannister. I take the sword into my hands. Bright roar has finally returned home. You've outdone yourself, Jerrion. All right, and now my prowess is way higher. Um, let's have a look at it, actually. Whoops. Here it is. Uh, it's just plus nine to um, prowess. The Ancestral Valyrian Seal Sword of House Lannister. Lost with Tim Tom and the Second following the Doom of Valyria. Um, so, it's not that Lyanna is still alive. We actually don't know. Oh, she's gay. That's funny. Uh, <laughs> I mean, maybe. Uh, my vassal Lord Willem has a contract with me that is quite lenient, exempting him from the from many of the obligations I would typically accept from one of my vassals. If I could get him to consent to increased obligations, it would greatly benefit the realm in the long term. Oh, this is because I've taken stewardship, um, focus, um, lifestyle. Sufficient incentive. That's so much gold. Let's try that. Maintaining a spy network across the realm on behalf of King Robert has its perks. Who would have thought? I frequently discover things I am not even looking for. Evidence of Jamie's secret, for example. Um. <laughs> um. <laughs> um. I don't think I need to tell anyone that. In an effort to convince Lord Willem to accept a more restrictive contract, I sat down with him and explained all of the reasons why we needed to update it. He was reluctant at first, but after much discussion, I got him to agree that it would be reasonable so the thing worked. That's good. More money, please. Crazy. A lesson in lucre. My son Tyrion has just finished a lesson held by Roland, Roland Craighall, on the management of the treasury and the gold therein. Tyrion seems to have taken the lesson somewhat to heart. While he understands the role of the lower classes, he also insists that if a peasant stops paying their taxes, they are of no more use and should be discarded. A very callous view on human life. Tywin wouldn't react to this like that. Good. Do not let mere feelings hold you back. Okay, that's how he... Uh, but he wouldn't express, like, approval of Tyrion, would he? Fairness? I mean, making him just would be pretty something. What you need to do is bleed them dry. Oh, boy. Okay, maybe that's more like it. I'm gonna let him... Ah, uh, is callous? Do I make the boy callous? I don't know if the others are in this mod, actually. I think greedy sort of works for tear. Excuse me. Thank you. Um, so from my point of view, I want to give him just, because I think just is pretty useful. Although his stewardship is already ridiculous. Does he have... Okay, so he already has callous. Um, stay callous, son. The fire roars, drinks have been had, and Kevin is calling out to me for a story. My first thought is of a famous Westerman folk tale, a classic that never fails to delight. On the other hand, what if I told the story of my own life, perhaps of the time I became friends with King Ares? Um, so in cases where there's a stress up and a stress down option, 
it's basically the game coaching you to role play to the character's traits and i think it makes sense for tywin to talk about himself although kevin would obviously already know all that but the game doesn't know that because i think that's um that's a vanilla ck3 event i would like for your kinsman davin lannister to become the squire of martin costain um Moves to stay at Lord Paramount Mace's. What happens? Yeah, no. You cannot have him. You perk. Administrator. Excellent. It's time to hold a grand tourney. Are we going to watch all the jousts? I think let's watch the final joust. We watched every joust yesterday. Oh, I'm Warden of the West. Goodness. Um, as Lan approaches me with yet another dead rat, I can do nothing but praise him. The castle has never been this free of rodents before. Keep up the good work. Nice work, Lan. Lord Walter Went has created Harrenhal, a divergent culture of Riverlander. That's kind of cursed. Okay, sure. Whatever you say. I don't know it feels like that's too easy if you can just do that. <laughs> um, Lord John and Lord Leslin. Who are these guys? Leslin Hay, John Fossaway. Oh, the Green Apple Fossaways. Enter the list and ready for themselves to tilt. Don't want to put money on either of them. Yeah, well, let's put money on um, John Fossaway. Nice. Easy. Morin, Lord Thomas Weller. I'm not putting money on this one. I should have. That's who I was going to bet on. Now, of these two guys, oh, there's no telling. Alright, John Fossaway wins the tournament. Good on you, John. Um, oh, am I going to ride in Duran's tourney at Sunspear? I think I shall, now that I have Bright, Bright Raw. I get to wave it around and uh, take myself so seriously. Could marry Cersei to Edmure. What I'm doing is I'm waiting for this event to fire. Um, because I don't believe it has. Yeah, no, it hasn't. Um, although I'm not sure what the trigger is if Robert wins. Because as we all know, I don't... I, I haven't seen what happens when Robert wins as when I'm playing as him. Um, so when this event all happens... Maybe it's a Ned thing. Maybe Ned hasn't gone to do it yet. I mean, it should be a Ned thing, right? Canonically. Uh, so the idea is that that event goes off, the John thing happens, Lyanna dies. Or doesn't die. She could, like, run away or whatever. I don't know. But after that, I get an event to marry Robert to Cersei. So I'm kind of waiting out for that. I'm not entirely sure what's supposed to happen. And I think it's kind of silly to just... I mean, Edmure is, what, five years younger than Cersei? More. God, it's already been three years. How time flies. Uh, seven years younger than Cersei. I don't... And I think Tywin would absolutely be holding out to um, put her as queen. It's bugged. I, I wouldn't mind starting over. We could turn historical events off. Oh, I didn't make I didn't make it through qualifiers. Oh well. Um, let's find out who wins. Who do we have here? An old man versus a very young man. Who would have thought the young man won? Oh, bears on the piano again. Every time, mate. Oh, dude. You know what? I'll let him play. Let him cook. Um. Nah, don't care. 
<laughs> Galen Corbray. Willem Broom. He's just sitting still at the moment, mainly. Um, obviously, we're going to bet on... Oh. Yeah, nice. Sorry, brain wasn't working just then. Oh shit, I didn't mean to click that. You. Damn. I mean, obviously we're going to bet on Oberon. Who do we have here? Uh, yeah, let's bet on that guy. Tywin's feeling a bit... A, a bit lucky today. Oberon versus this guy. Well, when the other guy is this guy, you go on Oberon. Oberon lost to this guy? Crazy. Okay, whatever. I wish you could opt out of this once you got once you get sick of it. <laughs> Cuz I've become sick of it. Now I'm just clicking through. Hang on, what was that? That was a completely different event that I clicked through. Hang on. <laughs> was someone born? I feel like someone just got born. But none of my kids are married, so it's not that important to me. Did someone get born? By Jet? Who won? Donald Swan won. Look at you, very young Victor. 16 years young. Oh. Oh. Wow. He's made me not Master of Whisperers anymore. He wants me to take patch face as a squire? Absolutely. Come train with me, boy. Actually, patch face isn't young. Oh, he's 15 at this time. Okay. Um, okay, what are we going to train patch face in? Hey, that was an insult. <laughs> you just insulted me. <laughs> Let's make patch face a fortuitous swordsman. Okay, it's not going to happen. Patch face. Become a good swordsman. You are disappointing. Bear, where are you going, mate? Ooh. Hang on, what do I need for this? Oh, okay. Okay, so it's not that simple. What can I do? I can start over because it looks like this event is bugged. I don't have the public release version of the mod, I think. I have, I still have the content creator beta they gave us. Um, so I might not be up to date and maybe my version's a little, a little less cooked than the version you guys have. Or more cooked, depending on your usage of the term cooked. Just roll with it. Thing is, I don't even really know what to do at this point. Let's hold some court. An unusual case has reached my court. Two women claim that a baby boy is theirs. Oh, it's the Solomon thing. None of the villagers can stand as witness, saying that it's as if the child appeared out of thin air. No one knew that the women were expecting or adopting nothing. The mystery has captivated the people, and while we may never know how all this happened, I must resolve the conundrum. What decision should I make for the future of this child? Or... Oh. Oh, that's funny. I mean, it's, it's it's dreadful. It's um, it's absolutely horrific, splitting the baby in two. Oh no, it's not a reference to King Solomon. It's that episode of The Simpsons where Homer does this with a pie. Hmm. Neither of them have the baby in their family tab, which doesn't help. The youngest woman. This really does change nothing. And Tywin the child killer does roll off the tongue really well. Nah, I don't think he would... Like, that's too... 
He's okay with killing babies if it, like, accomplishes political ends. But, like, just for the shits and giggles of it, I don't know if he'd do that. I, I, Tywin's giving it to the younger woman. Master Gerald, who has clearly been working himself up about something, greets me. My Lord Paramount, the dogs of Casterbridge think they are better than us. Uh, cracking their haughty jokes each market day. What do you want? You want me to tell you that your town is nicer? Oh, I, I so couldn't care. Yeah, have, have a duel. That's the way to settle all civic uh, d disputes. Just duel each other. Easy. My vassal Lord Philip, who's this Philip Plum, approaches the throne with a middle-aged man in tow. My liege and Lord Paramount, he spouts. My acquaintance, Tyrion Merchin, seeks the honor of serving in your retinue of knights. Give him the opportunity to prove his quality. It does look pretty good. Very well. Bodyguard. Nah, you know what? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, Tyrion's not a good name if you want to make Tywin happy. Oh my god. Two blue eyes follow me as I cross the hallway, and a small meow breaks the silence as Lan pounces for my ankle. He may be young, but he is nonetheless ferocious. As he prances away, I see that he left me a gleaming gift where he had been hiding. It is he just found two gold. He's just given it to me. That's fun. Oh, he wants to make me his chancellor now. That's good. So what does that mean? Plus prestige. Plus vassal opinion. Like, common vassals. Like, people who are also Robert's vassal. Um, monthly diplomacy lifestyle experience. Cool. Lord Joffrey has accused my vassal Sandor Jast of having an, had an extramarital affair with his lover Lady Ryleno. How could he defile the sanctity of his marriage? Imprison the woman. Of course, it is entirely... We should only blame the woman. Um, is there any proof of this? Ah, yes. It is public knowledge. I oh, know, I feel like Tywin would be the sort to, um, you know, make an example of a woman. Because he doesn't want... He, he wants to project that he's against this sort of thing, right? Isn't that Tywin's sort of MO? I don't really get the guy, if I'm honest. Demand conversion? What's... What sort of religion is this? A sect of the Faith of the Seven formed by the most extreme members of the Faith Militant which holds that incest, especially that conducted by the Valyrians, is an unholy abomination that's sort of based, among many other sinful acts. They seek to purge these evils with fire and sword. Okay, that's a little more dicey. Um... Oh, and they're like all like that. Is this a whole thing? It is. These counties here are both warring star. So is this and this and this. Huh. Oh, they've got um the orphans of the green blood here, following the religion of Mother Ruin. That's cool. We saw the Baylorus sect yesterday. Lady of the Waves on the Sisters. That's cool. And what are you? Cold Gods. As opposed to the Old Gods of the Far North. I guess that makes sense with um, Craster having deals with the others. Oh. Are we missing an icon there? That's fun. Okay. Oh, I should probably do something about that prisoner, shouldn't I? Where's the... Uh, 
Uh, there we go. Her. Negotiate release. What can I do with you? I don't really care if you're that religion. Banish. Recruit. Nah, just pay me. Okay. Okay, patch face. It's time to become an even better swordsman. An excellent training session. Yes. <laughs> What can I ask Robert for? Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Well, I guess... Seeing as the event's sort of bugged, our options are to start over and just run the game back. Or... We, from this point, try to assemble a different alliance to overthrow him and maybe try to become king or whatever. That sounds like fun. What would I need? Does he have any alliance that- so he's allied to Ned. Because of his betrothal to Lyanna, which hasn't broken up yet because she's plot to kill Lyanna. I don't know if that's possible. No, it's not. Um. Oh, which branch do I want to go down? Architect? Or Avaricious? Yeah. Um. I just want to like get the lay. 20,068. If I... Yeah, this is what I'm thinking. It could be fun to run this. I don't have to undermine the Tyrells. I can just ally with the Tyrells. I can marry Cersei to Willis. Even though she's, what, 11 years older than him? Lol. Oh, she's still refusing marriage. Okay, I think we, we just can't continue then. Because all I have is Tyrion. Tyrion? Oh, already betrothed. Okay. No daughters, no daughters, I assume. Oh, John died. Of death? Oh. Died of his wounds. He was wounded. He died of wounded. He did have enough, enough time to have two children with Lysa, though. She had proven herself to be fecund. Widowed. Oh, she's so torn up by John dying. Oh, all right. We're going to roll it back. Just see how it plays out at um, a different time. I'm not counting that as a failure because, I mean, we did what we wanted to. We sided with Robert. And uh, we'll just, like, let that timeline live on as the one where Tywin just lives out his days happily with the kitty cat. Shit, I didn't change the game rules. Good point. Okay. Game rules. Um, story outcomes. Semi-historical, what does that mean? Encouraged but not certain. Random. Um... I mean, we're starting over because we had an event not fire properly. So is random really what we want to do? Lost the sword too? Eh, not... I mean, we can get it back. <laughs> semi-historical. Yeah, let's run semi-historical. Let's pitch a semi. No. Um, what else did I want to do? Um, that. And I think we're good. I think we just go. Right? You know what could be fun is if we just like immediately declare independence at the start of the game. That is kind of funny. How does this work? I will declare independence. He might not like it. That's fun. We'll do that some other time. You want to become Davins. Who are you? The Lord of... Oh, you're a piper. 
Uh, you're not important enough. Oh, you know what I should do? Cool. Huh? Oh. I hear the visceral cries of my son and heir Tyrion and the sounds of a struggle. Promptly bolting up and racing down the hallway, I skid to a stop when I see my courtier Kralin restraining the poor lad with one arm and, and <laughs> poor lad. Tywin describing Tyrion as a poor lad, that's just that's just sort of something, isn't it? Um, with one arm and awkwardly clutching a book with the other. I barely have time to bark a demand for explanation when both begin blurting out their version of events. Tyrion refuses to allow me to read him my masterpiece on the art of learning, cries the tutor. I've heard this dreary book a thousand times, Tyrion protests. It's so boring. Um, I grow closer to forming a rival with, with Tyrion Lannister. Historical uh, events there. This book sounds fascinating. Perhaps I could buy it from you. Eh. Nah. Yeah, make him hate me. <laughs> um, safe in Castle Rock with all of her needs provided for, my daughter Cersei has shown little proclivity to do anything but spend her days at the tavern, drowning in an endless supply of mead. Wow. Bit early on that one, Cersei. You're supposed to wait until feast. Foreign envoys have begun to take note of her behaviour, and I can't help but wonder what rumours are being whispered about her in distant courts. Oh yeah, Robert will never want to marry her if, she, if he knows that she likes booze. I don't want her to be a drunkard. She must be punished. She just needs some responsibility, something important to look after. Oh no, I don't want to give her land. Holy crap, that's a bad idea. This is exactly what Tywin would do. Okay, are we siding with Robert again? Does that previous poll still hold up? I would say it does. I say we're, st we're still going to do this. We'll do it. We'll do an Aeris one some other time. Don't worry. Oh man, we're so fast. <laughs> I forgot I was on five speed. All right. Same thing happened. The gates shall stay closed, was the only thing the envoy cried from the city gate. My plans for eliminating Ares and his abominous spawn have come to a halt. As the war is lost for them, still, I must show the rebels that I have answered their call at last. Let the siege begin. Okay, we're actually just besieging King's Landing now. It has a fort level of 15, so once my trebuchets get there, I think it'll go way faster? Yeah, I think so. Okay, this is interesting. I've never seen that one before. Still 13 months, my goodness. Um, how many troops does he have? He has only 10,000 men. What about his allies? 69th, nice. Um, hopefully Robert keeps... Yeah, okay. They seem busy. We would win that battle anyway. If they came up here. Where are the rest of their men though? I mean, they could just be in here somewhere. Which is pretty spooky. We'll see how the siege goes. Oh, oh, uh, stop. Why? What happened? We just won. I don't know why. Eris is still alive. Rest of the family is dead. Oh no, Rhaegar disappeared. That's fun. They all disappeared. That's crazy. What the hell? I've never seen that one. Um, now what? <laughs> Never seen that one before. Can I disband? Yeah. And where, where is this, um... Oh, they're well gone. 
Okay, let's just see what happens. It appears that nothing is happening. Uh, Donna Swift showing the signs of pregnancy, but it's not Kevin's. How dare you. Um, what is happening? Uh, you want me to be your chancellor? No worries, mate. With the Stark girl dead, this is the event I was talking about earlier. With the Stark girl dead, the new Lord of the Seven Kingdoms, Robert Baratheon, is without a wife. Perhaps I should offer my daughter to him. A Lannister queen, after all, would benefit our family immensely at court and abroad. So I, I guess I guess she's dead. It is the wisest course. Yep. But Leanna's not dead. <laughs> What's going on? Huh? Oh, a line's expired. No longer married. Yeah, of course Tywin built the tunnel. The secret tunnel to Shatai's brothel. Who else would have? And why else would we have heard about it? Okay, that's that's very strange. So it looks like the event did wrong again. <laughs> it went wrong. Oh, Ned died. Maybe that's... Oh! So that's um, the Tower of Joy event. Ned lost the battle, it would seem. So maybe the event never fired where Lyanna died? Because um, Ned died before you know his AI could experience that event. I'm not sure. I've never made a mod for this game. Um, that's my guess. Anyone who knows better, please let us know. Or don't. You don't have to, obviously. That's a bit of a shame. Kind of weird. Okay. Run it back. Independence Water Adventure on it. We'll do that if the next if it happens again next time. I mean we'll probably lose. I'd have to find a big alliance. Okay. Yada yada yada. Pick that. Pick that. Just go. Um me. Okay. Oh, you know what I didn't do? There we go. Uh, oh, that's the same event from earlier. The morning chorus of twittering birds accompany me down to the cellar, the light of dawn giving way to gloomy darkness lit only by sputtering lamps. I yawn and stretch as I go, my feet padding across the floorboards. Once my eyes adjust to the lack of light, a culinary tragedy is unveiled by them. Apple cores, scattered crumbs, bones flensed clean of their meat. In shock, I look around the entire room, but everywhere my eyes land, they find yet more evidence. Suddenly, in the corner, a soft, contented burp. Is this? Oh, it's Jenna. Oh, classic Jenna. Um, oh my god, 130 gold? What the hell? I feel like Tywin couldn't imprison Jenna. I don't think he could do that. Maybe he... Huh. We don't really hear too much of Tywin's opinions of his siblings. We hear a lot about his siblings' opinions of him. He wouldn't do this. He, like, he wouldn't just be like, ah, oh well. No. <laughs> Pay up. <laughs> 
Oh, I can't ransom her because like she's my she's my courtier. Oh, make her my headsman. That's kind of cool. Get out of here! No. And I can't just release her because like that doesn't make sense for Tywin. I guess she's just staying in the dungeon. Um, no. Renounce claims. I guess that does work. It's really the only thing I can do. Yep. Oh, and our brother died. He always dies. What's happening with this war? Anything happening? Virtuoso performance. My brother Kevin is so talented. I love the idea that Tywin and Kevin were just like actual best bros, but um, no. To say that he has a mind for money would be an understatement. When he's in charge of fiscal matters, nary a single coin escapes his notice. Kevin's shrewdness and acuity when it comes to finances is so great that he can work what would seem what would almost seem like magic when balancing books, finding money where there is seemingly none and trimming off waste expenses like the most skilled of butchers. I mean I know they're friends, but it's not like they're um Yeah, you know, Tywin's not a very gregarious person is what I'm getting at. Perhaps I could ask him to give me some tips and tricks on that area of expertise. I'm diligent. Lose eight stress. Oh, with a chance of gaining stress. Yeah, we de we definitely do that. Nice. I'm the better at doing that thing. Following the death sentence of a lowly thief, I asked my son and heir Tyrion what he thought. He responded that the sentence was far too harsh for such a small crime. Um. Yep. Were you? Titos. I wouldn't abide by that. Nah. Lionel? Lionel's fine. Whatever. Starving amidst... Uh, striving amidst... Um, the Alliance of the Westland... Oh, someone's presented a, a poem about me. The conflict brings wrath to all some day. Our hero lives to enter the fray. His subjects prove grateful for if they are not, then next to their door, his sword is brought. I mean, that's kind of cool. Oh! Jerrion wants to run off and join the Black Brothers. That's kind of fun. I'll let him do that and then we'll see what happens when, um... Oh, we're best friends now. We are best bros all of a sudden. Um, I want to see what happens when I send someone to find Brightwar if Jerrion's not at court. Like, who goes? What is happening with this war? Is this because I only went with semi-historical focuses? I mean, you know what I mean. Who are you? Lucas Vance. I mean, he's a... That's a name. Hmm. Yeah, bye. <laughs> Hygiene is the key to a long life. This is about Tywin's hygiene, I guess. One of life's greatest delights is hearing even our harshest foes bitterly admit that no man's beard is better combed, no man's hair more regularly soaped, no man's face scrubbed quite so clear of blemishes as that of a good Westerman man. Today is bath day, but I feel as though a, cha a change of routine might do me good. After all, if the Westerman are well groomed, does it not behoove a Lord Paramount to be the best groomed? Ooh, do I want to become extra sexy? Now nah, let's become mega healthy. 
Hell yeah. Yeah, we get the nice polish from my head. Look at that. Look at that sheen. You don't get that naturally. Ooh. Poet Tywin. I sip at my mug of newly invented brandy. <laughs> Eyes scanning over my latest scrolled work. Pangs of sadness. No matter how many days twist and pass, winds whisper coldly through the grass. Alone bereft without that sweet man, who next among us will end his span? Truly, I am one of the great artistic minds of my age. A fine verse. What shall I muse on next? <laughs> I mean, it's the only one that doesn't give me stress, so let's do it. <laughs> Sure, whatever. Um. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm into poetry now. No, I don't care. I still don't care. So it looks like this war is going differently. Hmm. God, it's so funny that everyone's at war and we're just over here, chilling. Marry Robert myself? Hmm. Still betrothed. Nah. Assassinate Ares? I guess- I, I don't think I can, actually. Oh, I can. Why is it so high? Hmm. I think it sort of makes sense. Like, Tywin absolutely just wants all the power for himself. So he sees, you know, Robert coming in as a shake-up of the status quo and he can take advantage of that. What can Rhaegar being in charge do for Tywin? He's already married and has two children. What happened to Rhaegar's eye? He lost an eye. He loses an eye in a battle? Oh, Elia died and he remarried someone irrelevant, the Gargolans. So his rivals with these two guys, did one of them take his eye out? That's kind of sick, and let's kill Ares so that he becomes the king. And maybe when Rhaegar becomes king, I will join the war on his side. Oh, Tywin with a secret tunnel. Aladim approaches me with a, is that Aladim? Yes, it is. A bunch of parchment clutched in his hands. I found old. That's not Aladim's voice. I found old. That's not Aladim's voice either. He found sketches of the castle of the Red Keep, which is, I mean, it doesn't make any sense. Um, they might be a bit outdated, but look here. Nah, yeah. I was about to bite into the most succulent piece of duck I had ever seen when one of my servants keeled over, clutching at his throat. He'd been helping himself to a taste of my meal. At the very least, he served as a warning to not touch the bird while receiving just punishment for his crime. Oh, I love that. Um, do I not have a food taster? I don't. Jenna. <laughs> This, like all worshippers of the Seven, my rival King Eris shares more with the Seven who are one, and by extension the High Septon, than he shares with most mortals. 
If only I could get the High Septon to relay some of King Eric's fears and plans to me. I mean, we're already at 95%, so I'll leave them. I'll leave them out of that. That's cool, though. Galen, born to Kevin and Dawna Swift, sure. Tiora, born to Sorel and no one else. Kid, kid, immaculate conception. Uh, something in common. I'm happily soaking at the bathhouse, sharing deep reflections and salacious jokes with Kralin. Is this the maester? Yep. As I feel all tension leaving my body, I realize that it's not just the warm water loosening my muscles. I'm genuinely having fun. This doesn't sound like Taiwan. No, we're not friends. Don't be ridiculous. Oh. Oh, I died. <laughs> he killed me. <laughs> That's crazy. It doesn't take long before I'm clawing at my neck. I probably should have put the spy master in to, you know, help out with that. I wasn't really thinking. As my consciousness fades, I see that there's blood and skin under my nails. I'm going to have to wash that off. How unseemly. My heirs avenge my death. Okay. I'm Tyrion now. Shall we just see how this plays out? Being Tyrion. That's sort of fun, isn't it? <laughs> I kind of feel like... Kevin should be the Castellan. Then... Who the hell are you? You're not good at anything else. You can do that. Twelve. Oh my god, you hate me. Everyone hates me because I'm Tyrion. Marry Tyrion to Cersei? What the hell? you talking about hmm so I've got Leo Lefford and Gerald Serrett left to please I feel like the maester should be in here in some capacity no the maester was on the CK2 council screen, wasn't he? This guy hates me. Like, way too much. Yeah, let's do that and then find... the other guy here. Or is he not there? Why isn't he there? Is there, like, extra qualification that you need to become the Admiral? Do you need to own coastal provinces? If you're landed? I don't know, this is confusing. Whatever. I'll just have a powerful vassal not like me. Um, well, he killed my father, and my father was an asshole. However, I think Tyrion would then see that as just cause to enter the war on Robert's side. No? Don't you think that makes sense? Although, the war seems very much in Ares' favour. Can I even tilt that? Not really. And if I make an alliance, I can't bring that alliance into the war. That's not how it works. I'd have to make my own war if I want to bring my own allies in. Hmm. Ooh. Ah, oh, oh, it's really funny. Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> With the Iron Throne in chaos, Tyrion has renounced their fealty to King Aerys and risen up in rebellion. Let's see how this turns out. <laughs> exactly my thoughts. <laughs> um, so he started a war. I'm at war with the Iron Throne. I do have more men than him, and 
I don't think he's gonna like get See the thing with this war is that like literally Mace and Duran are allies Whereas in our war, he doesn't have any allies in it's just him versus me So I mean and he's really busy at the moment and my war score is gonna dial up because it's an independence war He needs to occupy my land if he wants to like stop my war score from ticking up. So all I really need to do, I have so much gold backed up that I can just keep my men stood up forever. Right, sounds like a plan. More men at arms. Let's do it. What do I have? Armored horsemen. These guys are heavy infantry, are they? And trebuchets how much to do that 196 that's a lot it's probably worth it though okay um you left for a bit what's going on what's going on is that tywin got murdered by Ares. uh we're Tyrion now and we've declared an independence war against Ares. maybe we should just like go for king's landing because he is going to beat Robert. It looks like he's going to beat Robert. Can I see participation? Is that a thing? I don't think it is. Hmm. Jamie is not dead. He's just imprisoned by Howland Reed. Crazy. I can pay to free him. Let's do it. It makes sense. We're not at war with each other, so he's fine with that. Oh. Oh, big brain. Oh, no, he's already married. Damn it. And I think Cersei's still refusing marriage. So literally the only hand I have to offer is my own. Are there any useful alliances I can get, really? Ooh. Ooh. I've already started the war, though. Does it work like that? If I make this alliance, not you, you. If I betroth myself to th this new princess of Dawn, Will Duran be able to splinter off and join my War of Independence? Um, Cersei... Yeah, she has, like, a flag on her that says she can't marry anyone. And there's an event after the war that ends that. Is he still allies with the crown? He's not. He's just in a war with them. Which I guess means that he shouldn't be able to splinter off. Okay, I'll, I'm just going to have to um, do this on my own. Up we go. Huh? Oh no. So you know how I was talking about the allies stuff earlier? Wait a minute. Oh, I just cut the realm in half again. Okay, they're being raised there. Did I not move the rally point before I pressed raise? I thought I did. Anyway, we're gonna have to crush some of our own vassals. Oh no, I did not. <laughs> I did not foresee this. Hmm. Whoopsie daisy. I thought it was just going to be a simple let's all become independent sort of thing. But I guess it makes sense because um, no one likes Tyrion because he's an ugly dwarf. And also uh, he literally just became the ruler. So why would any of the vassals go with what he says? I think I can clean up most of these armies. 
Let's just send this one that way and this one that way. Put someone in charge. Let's fill up the council. Oh, goodness. Yep, sure, whatever. I, this expression that Kevin's got right here, that's how I'm feeling. Um, the wardrobe in the servants' quarters is the best hiding spot. I'm a hide-and-seek genius. As I peek through the small gap between the doors, I see Tibbet and Alice suddenly burst in through the door. Oh, my winsome pearl, I can't wait to get you out of those clothes, Tibbet grunts, and his hands grasping all over Alice's body. Is this, um, can we... Can we put this on YouTube? Take me! Take me now, you stud! Alice, don't clip this. Alice moans loudly, throwing... If you clip this, you have to press the like button. Throwing herself on the bed. What are they... Oh... I was not supposed to see this, and then the, and then the um, sitcom, you know, ba do ba do do boo ba do ba do. Yeah, we're we're at war though. How old is this woman? Thirty six. Donald Payne's wife. Chased. I mean, if we're going for for lore accurate, we have to go with lustful. All right, I really should turn the clips feature off for this. <laughs> this is bound to go wrong. All right, you go here, then a small amount of you go that way. You guys go up here. You go directly here. Do not pass go. Do not collect $18 billion. Oh, commanders. You have a commander, you have a commander. Okay. I just have to like stamp out all these tiny, tiny little armies before they meet up and become big, big armies. That's my thinking at least. And hopefully his attention is so divided, diverted by the two separate rebellions going on that he just, like, can't. That is a big hopefully, though. We don't like to run wars on hopefullys, do we? Uh, this seems to have worked out pretty well, though. So far. They're gonna win that. I want to get rid of them. Yep, cool. What's going on here? Where are you going? Oh, you're in? You're in the straight already? They're already pretty split up. Which is good, if you didn't get that bit. Cool. Yep, keep going. That's good. Any other war armies I should be worried about? So Mace is there. It's probably not Mace himself. Bennis Fossaway. Bennis, are you fucking serious? <laughs> Your name is Bennis? That's the one you went with? Like... <laughs> okay, man. <laughs> Venus. You gotta take care of that. I know those armies are tiny, but I don't want them in my territory. Yep. 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 Nice. Oh shit, they're not actually landing. That was me being dumb. You're retreating. Oh, they're meeting up. That's not good. Okay, you come down here. 
you also come down here. And we'll have a big battle here. That sounds like fun. <laughs> oh, this guy's an organizer. Hell yeah. Wait, no. Let's do it. Nice, nice, nice. Um, there's a lot going on here. <laughs> Any of this I need to worry should worry about that. I think that's the only active siege on my territory. Okay. Gonna send this army back in here. And the remainder... How's this gone numbers wise? 76, 86. That's good. Wait, am I actually going to do this? <laughs> don't be ridiculous. This was supposed to be a stupid joke. Don't actually win. What's the, what are these big massive lines about? What what the hell? <laughs> what the, what's going on here? <laughs> Oh, goodness me. It appears as though my armies are actually located all the way down here. Um, they shouldn't be. That's a little strange. I'm just going to let time roll a little bit. Oh no, I wanted to send this one in here. Get rid of them. And you lot. Yeah. Go there. Just keep following him. Nice. Oh, I didn't catch them. I don't want to end up in a battle with any of Robert's guys. That'd be bad. Oh, I've got two armies going the same way there. That's pointless. Can you... Should we besiege something? Where are my trebuchets? They're in here. I mean, King's Landing is probably a good bet. Let's see if he blows it up. That'd be funny. I should go to the release version. You're right. I'll update it tonight. Um... We might have to fight off Ned here. Oh no, he's leaving. That's good. And I guess you just besiege something. Doesn't really matter. Okay. Little battle there, no worries. Yep, you go there. And you... Go here, to the big funny city. The one that goes boom sometimes. <laughs> um, we don't exceed the loot level. We don't have any men at arms here. We need a smaller four level like this one will do. Okay. What's this? You want to become you want Lionel Frey as a squire? Sure, I don't care. Maybe I should, but I don't. I'm a bit of a renegade like that. I still want to know what this line is about. <laughs> oh, right, and you guys... Any business to attend to? I don't see any armies 
that we need to really be attentive to. Thirteen K May still has sixteen K. We're not out of the woods. Not by any means. I'm going to get even more trebuchets. Oh. Man, those, those four guys held on for so long. That's crazy. Oh, massive battle here. Okay, I kind of need to see how Robert's going. Ares is still winning the Robert War. That's really good, because I... I don't want Robert to win before I win, because then I'd have to, you know, deal with Robert as well. Like a more unified... I don't know how the mod's going to handle that. Um, so this is Robert's Rebellion. Robert's Rebellion is going on right now. That's Robert's Rebellion right there. Robert's forces in red and Ares in blue. Um, but I'm fighting a separate independence war. I'm Tyrion, by the way. Hello. Um, Tywin got killed by Ares. And I decided to avenge him by fighting an independence war. And that's me in blue and Ares in red again. And it doesn't look great, but we are winning. I'm just going to wait for this battle to end. Okay. Whatever. I feel like there should be a massive army somewhere. Oh, there it is. Okay. But I don't want to throw myself at any of Robert's allies because like we are hostile to each other and we will get into battle if our troops bump into each other like what's about to happen here don't do that oh that's so good there's a massive battle here that Macy is going to win it looks like and I think we have more men around if my allies don't just wander off as they are wont to okay cool um, that is probably too many men that I for me to deal with we only have 20k here I say we station besiegers and head up to here. And hopefully the allies follow. They won't. Okay, we might need to stay a bit further back from this one. Or maybe in between. Yeah, let's go here actually. And help out a battle that we are currently losing. Yes, that's gone really well. Okay. Now let's stand back over here. Um, what do we have here? 47,000. Oh, but that's grouped up. That's um, Robert and Ares. Let's just see their actions a little bit. Um, that's a lot of men headed my way, like into the Westerlands, which is, um, as you say, not good. Are these not reinforcing? Plus point forward day. Oh, that's seeds progress, right. 
Do I need to re-raise them? I shouldn't. Okay, let's pursue. Hopefully the allies follow. Uh-oh. Do we win? If a battle happens here? You know what, let's lead them further back. Oh, it's happening. Okay. I don't think we do. Only reinforcing friendly territory. Okay, that makes sense. Oh no. Okay. That's worked out. I was worried about nothing. It was a big old nothing muffin. Sorry. <laughs> I'll never say that again. <laughs> okay, that was huge. The slaughter at Brown Hawk. Um, that was a different battle. It was this one that just happened. The battle at Candle Rush. Fantastic. Um, it looks like a similar situation is about to play out down here. Actually, I don't know who's going to win this. Ned's about to show up with reinforcements, so maybe Robert wins that battle. Let's just stand next to it and see what happens. <laughs> Robert does win, which means I'm not interested. Let's pursue this force. Um, Ares's troops who are retreating. Oh, whoops, we accidentally got in a battle with John Aaron. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Didn't mean to. Are we locked? Nope. Good. Catch him off guard here. Go there. Uh, there are too many men walking around. Okay. Okay. Help them. Oh, shit. So it looks like we lost that battle. Oh, no, no, we're good, we're good. Great. We want a siege. That was this one, right? Yep, cool. Oh. Um, this is just, like, no men. I only stationed them there to keep the siege going. I didn't actually expect anything to happen. That's level five, that's level three. Let's go here. Yeah, do it like that. Go off the face of the earth and then come back to Woodbring, whatever the place was called. Right, fantastic. Oh my god, this is such a slaughter. Don't you guys know we're supposed to do that in the Riverlands, not the Reach? Actually both go this way. Right, we're very close to winning. Which I really cannot believe. Three months. I really want to take King's Landing, but it looks like we're going to win before then. Oh no, we can't. Maximum. Why is it at 89? That's weird. Or is it because there's already a hundred dedicated to battle war score? I'm... I don't know how the game works, man. Let's go up there. Any massive armies I need to worry about? 
It doesn't look like it. It looks like a really eviscerated Ares. Or rather, my many allies. I didn't even look at who my allies are, actually. Just a bunch of randoms. Lesser lords across the kingdom. Graftons. Mutons. Corgiles. This is the Florence, right? Tali's. Randall Tali. Randall Tali. Rebelling against Ares. Don't really know what to do other than just stand on King's Landing. Oh, hang on. We'll win another funny battle. Okay, the war is over, but we're only 46 days from taking King's Landing. It'd be such a shame to not take King's Landing. Wouldn't it? Uh, they're gonna win that fight. The Ironwoods are also are helping us out. I just want to take it, it's funny. Who's this? You want Davin? Who are you? Palm and Crane? Not interested. Like, it just feels wrong winning the war without taking King's Landing. Okay, there we go. Um, no special events. Let's just end the, end the war. Lamau. Oh, look at that border gore. Um, I'm going to see what happens. Like, we are now out of the realm's affairs. At long last, we have achieved victory in the face of those who sought to rebel against me and, and disrupt my righteous rule. This is Tyrion still, but a 14 year old Tyrion. Now that the traitors are within my grasp, the time has come to choose what fate shall befall them, whether to show them mercy or to punish them for their transgressions. Bring them before me! Oh, so these are. Who's this guy? Right, yeah, these are the people who should have been should have been on my side but rebelled against me in the independence war. Now, we're not like canon Tyrion, okay? So we don't have to act like like we think Tyrion himself would. Although we're a lustful, just, diligent, cynical man, young man who doesn't have a guardian. I probably should have um sought to that one. Thanks, Uncle Kev. Do I even have a focus? Stewardship. That makes sense. Um, ready to receive my judgment for his treachery. There are many options before me as to what was... Oh, right, yes. No, I'm not going to take anything. Hostage. Take your son as a hostage. Is that your son? You named your son after yourself? That's kind of narcissistic. Yep. Um... Oh, this, we're just doing normal court stuff now, aren't we? Oh, shit. Um, I want to get rid of this menu, please. I want to hang up my banners, please. Okay. This is weird. Yep. Nice. <laughs> um, Gawain Westerling, uh, hostage? Reynold is his heir, right? Oh, we can only take one of them. Let's make... Let's take Reynold and have him be my friend. I'm not going to schlop up their titles, no. Uh, Leo Lefford. What can we do with you? Lyman Vickery. Take his air. Anything else? Banish him. Want to do him? Do him a little banishment? Nah. There's no point. Donald Foot. 
What a stupid name. Can I even take any hostages? Oh, I can take grown-ups. I can take a full-ass adult man. Just make him mine. No one starts with- look, we're just gonna do the same thing for all of them. Fuck it. <laughs> Who? Halder. Okay. And we're done. After having passed your sentence, news arrived that some former rebels have defied your judgment and once again risen up in rebellion. How dare they? How fucking dare they? Who? Who am I at war with? Them lot. You go there. You go there. No, go away. I, I don't care. Then more. No, it's just them. Trebuchets are there. Oh, do I have to? If I just follow them, am I going to get the 100 war score? If I get the stack wipe. Yeah, nice. Um... The Battle of Unicorns Pass, that's such a cool name for a battle, <laughs> has ended in an astounding victory. I eagerly listen to the messenger as he reads the report from my back commander, Lord Andros, and then turn to the soldiers before me. My lord, we came upon the enemy banner while we were cleaning the battlefield. We thought it would be a shame to leave it behind. Perhaps you wish to keep it as a trophy. Ah. Uh. It does very little for- I mean... Captain Effective- it looks like shit though, and I'm not interested, so... And that's the war. Now because these guys actively rebelled against me, I'm gonna pass harsher judgement on them. If I can. Do I get to? Is this gonna get cleaned up ever? Or do I have to live with this border gore? <laughs> well, let's just clear all these up. I have destroyed the Westerlands. Oh, the Lord of the Tor is in my prison. What's he doing there? Yeah, just, just pay me. That's fine. Fucking Bennis Foss away. A stupid name. Garth Clint? Are you serious? Alright. I am independent now. Although we'll see how the um how the mod handles it when the war ends. I'll do that once the war ends. Let's meet some peers though. Harwin, the son of my vassal Lord Philip. It's not the same guy, it's Harwin Plum. And I are watching the knights train in the courtyard when my vassal Lord Garrison... Garrison Prester approached us with a smile. What do you say, children? Think you can handle the basics? Uh, yeah, I did pick up the basics. I'm talking to John, John Serrett, 
the son and heir of my vassal Lord Gerald, about life at court and recent rumours. And I heard that Alice has intimate relations with Lord Tibber. I catch myself, but it's too late. John heard everything. Um. Yeah, Tyrion would try to make this problem go away with with money, for sure, for sure, for real on God. Um, we are exploring the local sept when Oriel, Oriel Payne. No relation. The daughter of my vassal Lord Tib. I know Podrick is um of a more distant branch. Um, and I stumble across my septon, Timmond, surrounded by scrolls. They're journals from long ago. Are you interested in such things? No. Um, yes. Let's go, yes. I learned nothing. I, I got struggling with writing. Oh, well. It was good to forget about responsibilities for a while and spend time with other children, but I'm told I have to return to my duties now. Until next time. What's this all about? It's time for you to recognize the ancient and inalienable rights of your vassals. Accept the demands of the Liberty Faction or face our swords on the battlefield. Um, what is this faction you speak of? Oh, that looks pretty. Oh. Oh. Uh. I don't think I can make a match for Cersei. Nope, because the rebellion's still going. So, stop asking. Um, I'm not going to win that. And I don't think there's a point in trying. <laughs> I should do voice acting for the game. We'll see if they're interested. Um, sure, I don't care. Oh. Oh. That'd be funny, but I can't. I need to focus on finding a match for myself because I turn 16 soon. Oh, I turn 16 now. <laughs> Asha Greyjoy? Anyone? Asha Greyjoy? <laughs> Question mark? Um, Cersei is not the spy master. That was a different run. Although I should revise my council. Where are the other angry dudes? my other powerful vassals? Why do you hate me so much? What did I do to you? Oh, I hold the Dijur duchy. Fair enough, fair enough. Is it sorted by... It's still sorted by relevance. Oh, it's kind of confusing. So, Gerald... Serret. No. Nah. Okay. Whatever then. Who's Tyrion praying to? Anyone give plus one to intrigue? Nope. I think the crone makes sense. I don't want to marry a fray bastard. Not doing it. Let's wait for the, let's wait for the war to conclude. We'll see what happens. Oh, Rhaegar's dead. Robert killed him on the field of battle. Just so you know, the rebellion's been going for six years. <laughs> I became a fortune builder. That's pretty good. Oh my god, I have 30 stewardship. That's ridiculous. Right. Oh. Huh. Cool. 
Well, let's pick a focus. Lifestyle, whatever. Income. Stewardship. Opinion of me. Hmm. My cousin hates me the least out of all people. Do I take a page from father's book and marry my cousin? It's my cousin on my mother's side, by the way, because Stafford was, um, Joanna's sister, uh, brother. I think that's kind of cute if I do that. I mean, still marrying my cousin, not exactly what I would call wholesome, but, um, you know, finding the person who hates me the least, marry Asha. I'll see if the war ends before Asha comes of age. You want the- I've never heard of you. You want- You want to become- okay, that's why it's smaller. Nah. Oh, oh shit. It all happened. No. Oh, Robert got sent to the wall. It's a black brother. Ned is still there. Has he just not passed judgment yet? Or looks like Leanna's still alive, but no. Ah, there we go. Um, so, fuck. There's too much going on. Um, no. Okay, okay. So... The war's over. Yes, I got all my vassals back. Good. Awesome. I'm gonna become a king. <laughs> okay, I'm a king now. We will hold the grand journey, but we'll do that after all that stuff happens. Does that change anything in terms of who I can marry? I don't think it does. No. Do I? I don't own any. Oh, I do. I have Baylor's crown because I because I took King's Landing. That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> Oh, man. Alright, I should work on getting some prestige back. Um, let's call a hunt. Trade some money for some prestige. With the Stark Girl dead, the new Lord of the Seven Kingdoms, Robert Baratheon, is without a wife? I- hang on. <laughs> this- I'm supposed to be Tywin, and- and Robert is not the new Lord of the Seven Kingdoms, is he? Oh, Stannis is dead. No way! He got killed by Oberyn! And we- we missed it! We didn't see that! Ah, That would have been so cool! Oh well. Wait, you gave him land? What's wrong with you? Tyrion's not a lord anymore, he's a king. So, what happens here? I kind of want to see what happens if we send, as Tywin, a request for Cersei to marry Robert, who is a black brother at this point. Yeah, let's see what happens. Um, yep. Okay, I now have some prestige. Oh! It just happened. Wait. <laughs> uh, that's fantastic. He just married her. Like, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, I'll marry her. That's fine. I 
I think Asher is the best bet. Cool. Um, sure, go for it. Lord Quentin has discovered a spy. Cinder was taught, uh, caught searching for secrets in the darkest corners of my court. Lord Garen and Lord Andros. Uh. Cinder refuses to expose who is spying on me. How do I want to proceed with the traitor? Uh, Rodder in a cell. Nice. Good work, Gareth Farman, for winning a tournament. So I did all that just to get a bunch of prestige, because it was negative, which is not good. Unless you want it to be. Unless that's the sort of thing you want to be doing. Uh, actually, I don't want to spend prestige on holding court right now. Vassalize a guy? Who's this? I can vassalize a part of the reach? Oh my god, yes. Wait. Base reluctance. Okay, so I'd have to give him low feudal obligations, but that's funny, so let's do it. Oh, it's so funny. Um, what's happened here? Oh, these are my allies in the independence war. They're just also independent now. <laughs> uh, that's awesome. Wait, maybe allying Balon isn't good then, because he's not independent. Oh well. Got another culture, Dark Dell. Oh, oh, of Reachman. Oh, that's actually quite large. It's quite a lot of people. Sorry, I, I read Riverlander first. Not Richmond. No. Okay, that was fun. Independent Tyrion. I kind of want to continue this one as well. I guess I can get him independent. At some point. Yeah, I, I know that he's not going to help me against the Iron Throne because he's underneath it. Um. Oh, as I turn, I see my vassal Master Lorith sneer as he sinks his blade into the face of the covering Lord Tybalt. Oh my goodness. I just killed this guy. What have you done? Ooh, nah, I, I would just go, hey guys, what the fuck just happened? Can I imprison this guy? I can't? It's still tyranny? That's crazy. He, he murdered a guy in front of everyone. <laughs> the wine's all gone bad? Oh no. Oh. Oh, you know what Tyrion would do? I'm just gonna pin her for later. <laughs> um, what do you want? The Lordship of Brandy Bottom? Oh, the Weber thing. Uh, no, I'm I'm not declaring war on Ares for that. Who's your heir, Viserys? Nope. Viserys is the. You gave Viserys what? Oh my god. <laughs> and you gave Daemon Stormborn. Daenerys was a boy in this one. Gave him that. And you have another kid, Magon. Oh my god. Wait. You married Beone Roxton. Whose stats are just, just abysmal. <laughs> Why did you do that? What happened to Rayla? 
died in childbirth oh canon um crazy well i don't care about that Oh, we're doing a Liberty War. Oh, you have vassals rebelling against you. Sort of cringe, man. Do I want to help him with that? I mean, I don't want to lose the fame, so yeah. It's going to cost a lot of money to get my troops there. There are no straits I can cross. Like, I actually have to embark for that. Okay, um, hang on, where are our guys? Oh, huh, I'm so confused, everyone's red, where are, where are Balon's men? Oh, they're all down here, because you were raiding, because you're a bit of a renegade like that. Why are these guys all fighting with each other then? That's funny. I think he'll be fine. How much does it cost? 400 gold to embark them once? God. And that's only half of the army. That's all of my treasury to embark all of my men. Well, I want the trebuchets over there, so... And who precisely is leading the war? Dunstan of Old Wick. So these guys. Um, can I walk between? Yeah, okay. I don't have to embark for every crossing of the islands. I just need to embark to get there. What's the fort level here? Seven? I'm just going to wait until Balon gets back to see what he's doing. Because these guys are all killing each other. And he might um, be able to deal with that really easily. What's he done? I'm gonna try and join him. Who cares if it costs me a bunch of money? It's just money. Um, I'm not married to Asha yet because she's, what, 15? 14. We're still over a year off. I can't even see what battle we're in. Okay, that was war score. Go over here, I guess. I think we're good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, don't. We're gonna have to. Oh no, we do have to embark. We can't cross that? That's not a straight crossing? Bummer. Are these guys in the war? No, they're not. Don't attack them. Oh. Don't do that. Whoops. Oh. Didn't realize they'd come after me. we get here um let's go down this one 
Hey Balon, we're kind of having a bit of problem over here. Yeah, sure. Yep, cool. Balon. Excuse me. I'm blaming you for that one. Is he my best commander? I put a worse one in. Well, I guess I've got trebuchets that are going to help. What do you want? Oh, you want to be my spy master? Ten? Well, no. My marshal? No. And why does he think he can do this? This guy's dumb. Why do I lose 25 renown for telling this guy he's being dumb? The free cities are not yet in the mod. I don't want to lose 25 renown. Whatever. Baelish is playable in CK3. Got to stand these guys down. No, it is Peter. Because he became the Lord um, before the timestamp begins in 278. So you do play as Peter. It is the Roberts Rebellion time though. Um, 18. Pretty good. God oh, damn it. What do you want? You want to be my steward? No! Stop making me spend renown! Come on! Did we... Did that do anything? It did. Balon, what are you doing? Where are you going? I can't afford to do that. There's no time for any of this. Oh. Well, that was, like, those guys aren't even in the war. That was nothing. Um, what are you good at? Most things. 15. What are you good at? Nothing. What if I make you... Can I? Nope. I need to figure out what's going on with the, um... the admiral thing whose side are we on we're on our own side baby okay here's what we're doing 
Roland Craycall is my new marshal. Melwyn Sarsfield. Be the new steward. Yep. And this guy is not important. I mean, he is. But he's not a powerful vassal. Quentin Bainfort. Okay, I can make him the admiral and make this guy the spy master. Nice. A fortuitous rejuggling of the fucking council. Each night, once the candles are doused and the dark castle falls silent, whispers of a plot to murder me haunt the chambers. Spymaster Richard, the new guy, um, seems certain that my knight, Benedict, is behind it. High Septon Timmond privately disagrees, agreeing that the foul odour of... arguing that the foul odour of my aunt Jenna warrants investigation, while Steward Melwyn urges me to imprison my vassal Lord Landon, the Rock Devil, before it is too late. Is that really his... No, who calls him that? I see betrayal behind every pairs, pair of eyes. Scan courtier's hands for hidden blades. By the seven, I am at my wit's end. <sighs> Melwyn's an idiot when it comes to everything except money. <laughs> Timon doesn't know anything. Like, I'm gonna trust Richard here. I will follow the thread. Yes! Benedict's broom. It was him. Do we execute him? Tyranny? But he was plotting to kill me. Let's move him to the... Oh, he's in the dungeon. Torture him? Nope, can't torture him because I'm just... Okay. Hmm. I think I should still win that. Oh, he's coming anyway. Cool. Nice. Hmm, that is a problem. That Ares is right next to us and has three times our men. Thrice our manpower. Send him to the watch. Probably should, yeah. No, come back. Um, that guy. Banish? Yep, Black Brother. Let's do it. Oh, he, he wouldn't... He won't accept. He won't accept. He just... He's not gonna let me. Or is that Jantos Corgile not accepting? No, it's Benedict's Broom not accepting, accepting it. That's very strange. Oh, there you go. We can't do that. I don't have a wife yet. Um, speaking of... <laughs> this unholy, illegal union has produced an heir already. That's good. God, warring in the Iron Islands sucks. How are these guys doing? They're well supplied. I'll just leave them here. Oh, yes. Nice. Hello, lovely. You're me wife now. Um, do we try? Do we try? 
<laughs> she fucking hates me. Well, she's not gonna do that because she doesn't like me. I think the way we fix this is we give her a lot of money and then we ask her nicely to... Uh, would Tyrion do that? No, this is a different Tyrion. It's a different Tyrion. <laughs> yeah, he would. <laughs> um... Gosh, I'm really annoyed at this war and that how how annoying it is to move any troops around. Okay. And then we reassess. 95% that she becomes my lover. A hundred percent that she becomes my soulmate. That's cute. Let's do it. <laughs> That's just a, a vanilla CK3 event line. Um, I guess we'll su we'll seduce the cousin later. Don't worry. Oh my god. I would like that money. Thank you. Uh, my spine last comes to me with grave news. Someone's planning to kill Taishara. Okay, sure. Um, let's have a look at the council. Asha. You know what? Yeah. That's super useful. It just like rounds out my stats. What's going on in King's Landing? So Aegon is still the heir. 10 year old Aegon who's betrothed to his sister Rainy, so that makes sense. Rhaegel, is this Lyanna? Nope. So Rhaegar had another son with his second wife, Ina Gargalan, because he remarried after Elia died in childbirth. Oh, where did Balon go? Oh, he's there. No. Wait. No. Can I squire for someone? I want to become a knight. Can I... Hey, Jamie, can I squire for you? He's still a king's guard, by the way. <laughs> he hates... He hates Eris' guts. Because, you know, he killed our dad. Ugh. I think we just need to go over there and beat some armies around. Which is really annoying because I don't, didn't want to have to deal with that. We cannot afford to lose any holdings. I actually want to see what Balon does in that domain when they get too close. <clears throat> if it's a pond for carps you're interested in, I can build you a terrific one, my lord. The builder before me has good credentials, and my courtiers seem very excited about the prospect. Um... Yeah, let's make a great deal. Sure. Okay, so here in my quest to romance my wife, Asha Greyjoy, as my darling and I walk through the castly rock gardens, I gesture at the greenery around us. For all their beauty, there isn't a single flower which rivals your own, my lady. There is one, she says with a mischievous smile. A rare orchard from Fen, which is nearly impossible to cultivate. Are you fucking serious? The abandoned sept garden in Brightwall is the only place where it thrives in these regions. Okay, fair enough. Um, I don't want to spend more money. 
get Jamie to do it for me? He's my friend. Yep. Nice. <laughs> That's so stupid. Oh, shit. So, Balon's not doing anything about that. We should probably do something about it. And sure, it costs a shit ton of money. Whatever. Um, let's wait until we're no longer recently disembarked. Oh, they're leaving anyway. That's great. Let's just stand there. Cool. Um... My vassal, Master, Master Willem, throws his head back with a wicked laugh. They're insulting my wife. Asher is still conversing with her friends, but I can tell she heard him. I hate to see her hurt. How dare you hurt Asher Greyjoy's feelings? Oh, uh, do I duel him? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> I won! I won! <laughs> Awesome. Yeah, imagine Asha Greyjoy letting a, a man defend her honor like that. Fate smiles upon me. She's Pregos. Um, are you gonna do anything about that? They're not in the war, it doesn't matter. I'll just do your whole war for you, mate. All good, all good. Oh, I don't know if I can win that. Oh, I can. <laughs> Lady Asha, let me prove my, demo my devotion to you in any way you deem fit. Asha ponders a request for a while before her face lights up. You should be able to sustain yourself on nothing but your love for me for many days. Ah, that's a normal thing to say. Um. Nah. Okay, so do I actually try it? I mean, it's the same amount. It's literally the same outcome both ways. And it's the exact same chances as well. If I have my wife give me more intrigue though... Okay, no, it doesn't change anything. That would be hilarious. Nah, not doing it. <laughs> I should have done it because um, I would have gained prestige if it worked. Wait. Did we just... Huh? It says... Pebbleton is partially occupied. But I don't... But it's not. Oh. Occupied by Lord Eric. Where is this? That one. Okay. Yeah, I'll just continue doing everything, Balon. All good, all good. Oh, hell yeah. This is just the way that um, it ends. A secret truth has reached light of day. My vassal Lord Lyman has had an affair with his lover Anya. His lover? Who would have expected that? I do not see what the fuss is all about. If it it is not as if lust is an unnatural affliction, yeah, Tyrion wouldn't care. <laughs> all right, hell yeah. All right, she's my soulmate now. We're soulmates. No, fuck off. Okay. Yeah, nope. Come on. Just end. I want to leave. How long has this war been going for? Three years. Get stuffed.
No. <laughs> Leave me alone. The problem is I can't besiege I can't siege down any of their I got a son, his name's Pillman. <laughs> his name's not Pillman. <laughs> oh calling him Titos would really piss dad off. I mean dad's ghost. Damon Jason Hmm What are we thinking? Jamie, that would be mega cute. Eris did win the rebellion, yes. Dagon. That would be... That's kind of funny. Hang on. Who, who am I thinking of? No. Dalton. That's who I'm thinking of. What if we call him Dalton? Seeing lots of suggestions. Jerrion, but Jerrion Lannis is still alive in this timeline. He's a black brother for some reason. Lan, but that's a cat's name. lots of Jamie. Titos is a good troll, but Tyrion, it seemed like, kind of didn't hate Tywin's guts in this timeline. Ares, why would I do that? Oh, you know what? That's a good point. Oh no, Tyrek's sick. Little Tyrek is sick. He's got... Someone look up horse illnesses. Is this gonna get any war score? Yeah, we're getting there. Clement Piper? Sure. Okay. No, don't... Don't... Can't we just walk there? Yeah. Wait. We can't? You can't walk? From uh, Great Week to Harkaway? Fine. Fine then. Oh, can I send my trebuchets over there? How much does that cost? Two gold. Nice. Yeah, good idea. Nope. Uh oh. Uh, the war should be over before... Okay, finally. Okay, we're at peace. Recover Bright War. You want a pilgrimage? What are the pilgrimages? Pilgr 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 what are the pilgrimages? The pilgrimages. Like... By the way, um, great, the Greyjoy Rebellion would have already happened by now. <laughs> um... Where else can I go? Starry Sept, let's go. I've fallen ill. Uh, 
Um, are we still relatively healthy? Yeah, let's keep going. Lord Amory Lorch accused Gareth Farman of having an affair with Lady Jane. I don't care. I'm finally here, body and soul, at the great sept of the Starry Sept. As the Septon offers me blessings, I reflect on everything that has had to happen for the seven who were one to bring me here at this moment in time. A whole lot of walking. What's important is that I'm seen and heard here. Righto. That's a cynical response. Yep. Cool. And we're back. Tourney day. The sun is shining and peasants are milling about the tourney hosted by my wife. All the knights cheer as Queen Asher announces the tournament in their honour, and for once I get to simply sit and watch. I'm not going to spend an entire tourney stuck to a throne, however. The day is in our honour, my dear. I'm doing this as well. <laughs> Shouldn't you be married? I mean, but... Are people starting to like me now? <laughs> yeah, I mean, some people. That's actually, you know... How far down the list do we have to get before people stop liking me? Oh, really far down. That's crazy. That's like three quarters down. The, have the teats been rendered? That's a great question. Is that them? <laughs> no. So, here's Blackwood Vale and here's... So, I'm, I'm, I'm finding them the old-fashioned way. They, they would be around here, wouldn't they? Oh, that's them! Oh, that's them! Yeah, I found the teats! <laughs> they actually did it! <laughs> Hang on, there we go. Hang on, find the angle. There it is. <laughs> they put so much detail into this mod. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Oh, the Ironwoods have fallen back under Dawn. Is that a war? Did they do a war? Doesn't appear that way. The Corgiles are still independent. Hmm. What's this? Yep. Oh, I should probably reassess that. So, Gerald Serret is 19 Marshal. Can I make you the Admiral? No, we ran into this problem earlier, didn't we? No, okay. Um, Leo Lefford. I mean, your problem is that you need to be better than my current counsellors. You know what? I'm not currently facing any problems, am I? No. That is because I did let the crown loyalty fall earlier. There's a lot of upgrades you could do. I'm not doing them yet, though. I can't be bothered. Trident's Mouth, a divergent culture of the Riverlander. There you go. Trident's Mouth, people. Interesting. Can I diverge? I could. Wow, I have a lot of prestige. That came out of nowhere. Oh, yes, another one. You know what? Hang on. Am I lustful? I am. Okay. Time to roleplay. Oh. Right. She's my cousin. <laughs> uh, yep. Are there any hotties around? 
Wait. Raph the Sweetling. <laughs> right, I guess he wouldn't be a black brother at this point. Why would he? Um, let's just sort by chickies. Am I straight? Cringe. Um, Asha. This lady. Hmm. Oh, right. No, Raph. Sorry, I thought of Raph as a black brother because of, um, I got him mix mixed up in my head with, um, Darian. Because they both encounter um, Ari and Bravos. Nice. I am well again. No. No. Tyrek, he was but a fall. Shit. Oh well. What's the time? I should go to bed soon. I mean, I should have gone to bed like four hours ago, but all good. Um. Tyrion, his son's just died, he's gonna pour himself into his work. That's actually pretty good. And I will subsidize it. Yep. Nice. Ah, new son. Jorian, na 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 na. He's a dwarf like me. And he's not pretty like his mum. Maybe the pretty and the ugly balance each other out and he's just normal. Titos. <sighs> yeah, Tywin. It's gotta be Tywin because he's a dwarf. It's like the ultimate insult, right? Oh, what happened? Wait, Ares died. Died of heart failure. Defending against Lord Paramount Mace in the Liberty War. So this is just to decrease crown authority. Ned is siding with him. Beric Don Darian. This is interesting. Is it what I think? Yeah, it's just the Crown Authority. But this means I can go picking, I can go num 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 and pick off some people I don't like. <laughs> like, do I have anything? No, I can't attack Edmure, but I can attack Mace. Because he doesn't have any, um, Allies. Annex Golden Grove. Do I have a claim on Golden Grove? Don't believe I do. Yeah, these are all the same. Look, they're all just single counties. I don't like that. Take the teats. They are they're so far inland. Like like from the border inland. Yeah, no. I'd, I'd have to penetrate quite deep before I could reach the teats. It's not going to happen. Julock.
Yep. Do the same thing. Okay, that's 295. How's Cersei going with with Bob? They're not going at all. Wanna come back? Come back, Dal? No, if she does that, she's just gonna scheme against me. Although that would be fun. Maybe we should invite her back. No, Tyrion wouldn't do that. Kill Bobbit? He wouldn't do that either. I'm not interested in doing that. Can I... I don't even have a war to fight against Ares. Learn language. Oh, yeah, let's learn Valyrian. That makes sense. So it's literally only mace I can fight. And it's just single county claims that I can um, wage war against, about. And I'm not very interested in doing that. Um, I would have to fabricate a claim... Where, where would they put that? Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, fabricate the claim. Um, and this guy sucks. It would be the Riverlands though, just because they're the weakest. Um, what would be the most... Probably Wayfarer's Rest. The best place to think. I mean, we will start it because why not? Um, does anyone know how I can get myself involved in knighthood? Attempt suicide. Hmm. Interesting. It's time to recover Bride Roar. Oh, I'm still sending Jerrion. That's funny. I am Tyrion, yes. Oh, Asha's pregnant again. An amorous misunderstanding. And so the king d discussed the recent reduction of gold minted in the realm with the council. Meanwhile, the master of coin proceeded to... I look up, startled from the Valyrian book, only to notice a flushed Arya leaning over me. Different Arya. Oh my, is that Valyrian you're speaking? She says. You know, Valyrian is the language of love. And if I did not miss here, you just called me a uh, fearless treasure? You lion heart, you. Um, be gone! <laughs> oh no. Well, I, I'm lustful, so I can't reject her. I don't want her to be my lover. She seems mean. Loses progress. Oh, no. This has gone terribly. Um... I kind of like the idea that we're role-playing a Tyrion who is in love with his wife, like deeply in love, and is trying to repress the um, urge he has to fuck everything that moves. So I think doing that is fun. And now I have to suffer a, men suffer a mental break. Um, going to the brothel to re to relieve that stress kind of defeats the purpose of what I just mentioned about. I don't like being reclusive, either. It's just not a great trait. I think we'll bite the bullet and just be more stressed. Oh, we've got Bright Roar. Hang on. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> that image of little Tyrion holding the massive Bright Roar. That's great. 
Okay, so that's three times now, or is it four times? Because I did it once off screen as well. Um, that I've asked for Bright War back and it just works. Like, it never hasn't worked for me. Okay. I'm gonna call it there. Been going for three hours, right? Yeah. So, that'll do. Um, I had fun. Did you have fun? Thanks for tuning in. Oh, I need to cover Super Chats, obviously. I should have, um, thought that one through. Exit game, save the game, exit. Bear camp, bear is here. Oh my goodness, he's so cute. I'll have to turn the light on though. Hold on just a moment. He was having a nap on the piano stool. What a sweetie. What a beautiful, magical angel he is. Um, I'm just gonna try to oh, wait have to move the alert box over here I guess boom and I need to move the super chats I don't even know how this is gonna work Okay. Um, there. There's our super chats. Is this all of them? Hang on. I'm starting to think I might have missed some. Yeah, there are some that aren't here. I'm just going to refresh and see what happens. Yeah, they're not all there. Okay, what I'm going to have to do is bring this tab down. Pardon me, I have to do it slightly differently to yesterday, is why I have to set all this up. Okay. Oh. Let's probably get the names on there as well. Ah, the fucking YouTube page is set up so poorly. Oh, sorry, buddy. Good boy. Such a good boy. Oh, he's sleepy. <laughs> uh, the stream, I guess it's over in the sense that um, the only thing we're doing now is super chat catch up. I wish you could pop out the super chat box.
but you can't. Okay, I'm gonna have to start over from, from scratch. This thing's broken. Um, display capture. Second monitor. That one. What is going on? Okay, bear with me. Okay, okay. Bear with me. Uh, that button. That that button. There we go. Okay. Yes. Um. Almost there. Wait. Put that there and drag it out that far. No, keep going. That far. Nope, keep going. That far. Yes. And then crop it. So this is what I was trying to do off screen. Oh God. Why is it like this? Okay, whatever. We're just leaving it like that. Um, right, where are we? Okay, start of this stream. Here, Topher's opinions. I respond to that one. Glimmer's Pike. I didn't actually respond to what you said. Are we killing some dragon babies? I guess that did happen, but I wasn't involved in it. Um, I responded to that one. Thank you, John. Nath Drum with five Chuck Bucks. How are you guys going with old Chucky, by the way? Haven't checked in in a while. How's that going? Um, cheers for all the entertainment. This is my Nath Drum voice. Um, cheers for all the entertainment, you good old gl Glimbice. Nice. Melvin Dickweed <laughs> with two dollary doos. Maybe try kissing Ares. Might avoid war that way. Didn't give that one a go. Maybe we'll try it next time. Aiden Beasley with five freedom dollars. Have some money. Love Glimble and Swifty Vits. Thank you very much. I love them too. We should stream sometime soon, the two of us together. Um, Andy with five chuck bucks. Rebuild Castamere, I dare you. I don't know if that's an option in the game. I didn't even check. Should do that. Um, oh, big stretch. Kyle Alexander, thank you again um, for two chuck bucks. Spy Master Cersei Arrow, you can't Cersei me. You know that, I think one of my favorite old Swift X quotes is when he said that if anyone in the story is likely to um, outwit themselves, it's Cersei Lannister. That was in my video. That was in the fake asswife theories video. Hi, you want a bump? You don't want a bump? Want a boop? There you go. Oh. He's licking me. Good boy. Um, Bear and Lan would be best pals. Actually, Bear isn't, <laughs> he's not that well socialized with other cats. He's well socialized with me though. He looks regal, he's a prince. Um, super cuts the light again, thank you. We should talk sometime. Um, the Ow, Ow, Some KC with five Canuck bucks. Start trying to see... 
seeing how much you can bargain Tyrion for, but you can get a decent political price. In in what context? Oh, you mean like betrothing him to people? Well, I did get... I, I could have got Doran's new daughter, but it didn't make sense because I was fighting against his liege. Um, Rogan with five chuck... No, euro, euro dollars. Um, hey, Glondon. Great bliss take. It came out on Friday as promised. Did it? No, it came out on Wednesday. I'm lost. Is this a reference to um all the times I said it would come out and it didn't? Um, if you're going down the poet right, you should try to modelize King Oris the Third. Tywin loves King Oris the Third. Um, we've got I'm Mitch to Freedom Dollars just now putting together the Tywin Unwin parallel. It's pretty good, isn't it? Um, God, imagine being such a good author that you name a loser character. Um, Hot D spoilers, by the way. Unwin. I actually don't know if that's going to be in Hot D. Don't know if they're going to go that far. Like, to him being the main actor. We'll see. Um, Tate and Nuts with five freedom bucks. Until we get a face reveal, I will picture Swift as, and Glimbo as Cat Dog from Nickelodeon. That's actually a pretty good approximation of our dynamic, I think. I'll have to ask him which one he thinks is the cat and which one he thinks is the dog out of the two of us. The problem there is that um, that does involve us pooping into each other forever. Um, Alex Bergen with five freedom bucks. I love you, Glimbone. Um, I'm not at a point in our relationship where I can return that gesture, but I can appreciate your intent. Thank you, Alex. G Cannon 12 with five chuck uh, freedom bucks. I'm I'm losing track of me currency systems. The lion and the squid. Taylor's old, oldest time. Well, if you ask Euron, the squid's supposed to fuck everything. <laughs> fuck everything up, maybe. Um, Kai Alexander once more with five chuck bucks. By the way, I showed my mum some Materia songs. Materia, that's the band that I'm in. And she thinks you guys are neat. Two thumbs up. Nice. You may have a new fan in my 51-year-old mum, if she can remember the name. Well, I don't even know if my mum listens, so it, it makes one of us. Hold on a moment. Queensland, Australia sends five uh, New Zealand dollars. I'm only catching this because I'm in New Zealand right now. I cannot imagine what horrible area it is in whatever state or territory you're in. Love your content. Um, thank you. And I'm sorry that everyone had to um, suffer through that. What are you doing in New Zealand if your name's Queersland Australia? I guess New Zealand is just kind of like queerer Australia, maybe? Remains to be proven. Loop X. Hello, Loop. Um, with the 20 euros. Gee, thank you. Um, greetings from beyond the wall. How's the stream? The stream was well, Loop. Thank you for asking. Whew. And that's the super chats. We can get rid of that now. And now we're just looking at bear. What a great way to end the t end the end the time. When will I do a piano playing stream? Follow me on twitch.tv slash Gladys Live and you'll see lots more bear. You'll hear lots more piano. I don't like the idea of doing a dedicated piano playing stream because I imagine that most of my subscribers subscribe for Game of Thrones related content. Um, <clears throat> for now. But Bear cuffs up the hair balls not very often, like maybe once every month, maybe even less frequently. <laughs> um, but over on Twitch, we do all kinds of things that are completely unrelated. Um, the reason I don't want to do a dedicated piano stream on YouTube, in addition to that like reservation about subscribers only being here for Game of Thrones stuff, is that I don't think of myself as a d dedicated piano player. I don't know if I'm good enough to maintain an audience like justifiably for that long. I know that some of you people will like watch me read the phone book. Um, it's a stream idea, actually. 
but I, I don't know if it like works for me to um do that play a piano and just that be the whole thing i feel like a stream it doesn't need to have a visual component but it probably should You clean, Bear? You clean enough yet? No? Still going? Fair enough, mate. Well, don't have much else left to do. We just, um, oh no. Why doesn't it work? Uh, a reply from Queensland, Australia. Just loving in New Zealand. I'm from Perth. Hang on, what, what's the Perth? I mean, it just defaulted to like a broad Australian. I'm from Perth. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. Would I also eat the phone book? No, nah, they're too tough. Perth. I've been to Perth once. I was in Perth for like 80 minutes. <laughs> um, between landing there and leaving. I was on this ridiculous adventure with a friend of mine. Um... He had just moved to Melbourne, but he hadn't brought his car over yet. I hadn't... No, he'd been living in Melbourne for over a year. Um, and he hadn't needed his car until that point. And he was like, let's go to Perth, where I'm from, to bring my car from Perth to Melbourne. And... Um, if you understand the gravity of that sentence, you'll know the trip I'm in for. Um, it, it, it's, it's nothing small. So we flew to Perth and then we drove across the country back to Melbourne. Lots of fun. Lots of sights seen. We stopped in lots of magical places. But um, I only spent 80 minutes in Perth before we left. Bear, where are you going? Oh well. He's off to do other business. Bye, Bear! Everyone say bye, Bear. <laughs> He's so magical. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Um, oh, we haven't organized tomorrow's stream. What are we doing? So we've done Rhaegar, we've done Robert, we've done Tywin. I need to redo Robert and actually win the war. See how that works out. But we also need to do Ned, John, Hoster, Duran, Mace, Quellon. And um, then minor people at some point. Can't do Daenerys. She doesn't exist in the timestamp. Um, John Aaron, I mean. We will do minor lords, but first we need to tick off all the major ones. Do the Mad King. I guess I yeah, I do need to do that um, on stream. Sorry, it's just in my head. I've already done that, but it, I didn't record it. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll do all kinds of things, but we need to figure out what we're doing tomorrow 
And that has to be one of the major ones. I'm not doing a minor one tomorrow. I'm doing a major one. Like, probably Ned. No, let's do something a bit smaller. Something less important. Because I kind of want to do it on Twitch. Because, um... Stream on YouTube to over a thousand people. There's a lot of fatigue there. <clears throat> it's less stressful over on Twitch. So I might go there and do something... Um, unimportant, like Hoster. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, where's my phone? Oh, right. Sorry. <laughs> when I set up the camera, um, my phone is the camera. So I lost track of where it was. Um... Yeah, okay. Tomorrow, Twitch. Something minor. I'll try to start a little earlier, so I'm not going to bed at 5 in the morning. But, you know, <laughs> you live and you learn. Um, Alright, thank you. And also, thank you. And goodbye. <laughs>